Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes. The Lines panel, introduced in Dorico 3.1, comprises a multitude of horizontal and vertical lines that you can add to your music quickly and easily. In Dorico 3.5, we've added a suite of editors that make it possible to wholly customize each of these lines and also to create your own from scratch to satisfy any musical need you may have. The editors are found in engrave mode in the engrave menu and use the familiar standard layout for such dialogues in Dorico. Choose between horizontal and vertical lines and select the line you wish to edit. Alternatively, create a new line either from scratch or using an existing line as a starting point. You can now set the body style of the line as well as the start and end caps. And you can set different styles of cap to show when lines cross system and page breaks. Set options such as how far from staves and other music items you want your line to be positioned by default and whether it should be drawn below or even inside the staff. Now, the real power of the lines editor comes in the form of being able to design your own components of each line. If your desired body style is not available in the list, then you can open the line body editor and create a new one. At the most basic level, you can specify the line thickness, the distance at which double lines are separated, or a dash and dot pattern. When constructing a dash and dot pattern, first specify the length or diameter of the dash or dot, and then specify the size of the gap. Always separate values with a semicolon and use a positive number to indicate the length of a dash and a negative number to indicate the diameter of a dot. You can make the pattern as long as you need and mix and mash dashes and dots in the same pattern. As well as creating these generic line bodies, you can also create wedges with your preferred settings or even more complex bodies made from repeating symbols. Here, you choose any number of symbols to use in the line body, which then repeat, either individually with the symbol changes distributed across the line length or by repeating the entire pattern over and over. You can also choose specific symbols to use once at the beginning and end of the line body. For even more customization, there is access to each repeatable symbol where you edit freely, even using Dorico's precise symbol editor. Remember to give your new body style a meaningful name, and after you've pressed OK, your new style will be accessible in the body style pop up menu control. You can also freely design symbols to be used as start and end caps. In Dorico, we treat these as line annotations, and as well as being placed at the beginning and end of lines, you can place annotations in the center of a line. As a result, if you want to design or edit a cap symbol, you use the line annotation editor. The dialog gives a graphical representation of how the annotation will look at various points on a horizontal or vertical line. You'll find the familiar arrows, hooks, and terminal lines that are used on Dorico's default lines. There are also categories for musical symbols and text. We can quickly define a text line annotation and set options such as the font style that will determine the look of the text and how it will be positioned relative to the line. Creating a music symbol annotation will open the symbol editor where you can assemble any symbol with freedom. Pressing OK will return you to the line editor where the new annotations are available in the lists for the various caps. As mentioned, you can also use these newly created annotations in the center of the line. Choose Center Annotation, select the annotation from the list, and set options such as whether it repeats along the line. Alternatively, you are able to set hyphenated text to run along the length of the line. Simply enter your text separated by hyphens. Once you have designed a new line, it will be available in the Write Mode Lines panel, where you can select and input it in your music. All the same property overrides also apply. If you would like your new line to be available in new projects, save it as a default line in the Lines Editor. I do hope you found this video helpful. 
If you have, please click the thumbs up button below to let me know you've liked it. And subscribe to the Dorico YouTube channel today to see many more videos like this one. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.